actually had a transformer changes is something you ain't never seen. Captain Chainsaw. <laughs> Open those up. Open the screen. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, so hello and welcome back to the Novice Lumberjack. Woo wee! This right here is my Yonsered 2165. <coughs> Whoa! 65. <laughs> 2165. Not to be confused with the 21 or 2266, okay? Because the 66 implies X torque. And now there's a little bit of confusion with all that stuff. So is it 66 cc's only it's an X torque? Nope. It's 71 cc's. The only difference. As far as I know, okay, let me, let me grab something. Okay, here we go. So this is a uh, 20, 2170, no, yeah, this is a 2172 cylinder, which is the exact same thing as a Husqvarna 372 XP X-Torque cylinder. It is a stratified or X-Torque design, and um, which means it injects air at a, at some point in time in the cycle and stuff. Anyways, they have transfer caps on them. The only difference between the 2166 X Torque Yonsered saw and the 2172 Yonsered X Torque saw is the 66 has these like stuffer type things. Uh, to block flow on your transfer caps. The cylinder is the exact same cylinder, which means the 2166 is actually um, 71 cc's, just like the 2172. So <clears throat> there's the confusion. Now it also applies with the Husqvarna because all these are, are really red, beautiful versions of Husqvarna. So uh, with the Husqvarna, the numbers are, you have your 365, which was originally, I, I think I'm right on this, your 365, when it first came out, it was actually an open port cylinder, and it was 65 cc's. And then they went to the 365 Special, right? And the 365 Special was a closed port cylinder, also 65 cc's. And then they went to the 365 X Torque. Now, whenever it's a 365 X Torque, it gets this cylinder. It's a, still 71 cc's. They just changed the transfer caps on this cylinder. And that's why the 365 X Torque and the uh, Yonsered 2166 cannot be ran in the four cube class because it is bigger than four cubes. It is bigger than 65 cc's. So hopefully that cleared up some confusion there. But um, what I gotta tell you about here is this is my 2165. I got a really good smoking deal on it. It's exactly what uh, um, you want when buying a used saw. It was an older gentleman, had bought it brand new, got to a point to where they're either A, he was incapable of using it, or B, which is my case, he passed away. Now, that's sad, and I don't want to make light of that and everything, but the wife didn't know what to do with the saw, didn't know what she had, was just trying to get rid of it. I got a great deal. This thing probably, I'm guessing, really, honestly, only has 10 to 20 tanks ran through it. It's an extremely clean unit. Uh, the bar did not come with it. It came with something else. But, you know, this is a 16 inch uh, race bar that I've got set up for the race at Sawfest. And I guess what this video is about is, honestly, I'm a little bit pissed off. Um, I'm a little bit pissed off. So 
I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to run at Sawfest, and I, and, you know, I was thinking about this Shindawa. I already built the 365, um, and but you know, I always really wanted to build this one actually, and I was talking with uh, T Dub about that, and he was like, "Oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea." Blah blah blah. Next thing I know, it started. He bought sunglasses like DB Fresh. Total bullshit. Total bullshit. Those sunglasses are DB Fresh's very iconic imagery, all right? And you taking it like you did, well, it, 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 it chafed me a little bit raw, okay? All right? But then you go and outright copy me by getting a 2165. Maybe yours is a 2065, basically the same saw. I don't care. It's a Yonsa Red. You don't do Yonsa Red. I do Yonsa Red. Aaron Lynch does Yonsa Red. Uh, uh, Josh King does Yonsa Red. Uh, Gary and Garrett Barker, they do Yonsa Red. Uh, uh, Matt House, he does Yonsa Red. See, I'm starting to get pissed off. I'm pissed off. You're not a Yonsa Red guy, and it's not fair that you come in and steal my thunder, and you're going to build a 2165 for Sawfest. So, honestly, I'm getting a little bit pissed off. And I'm getting so pissed off, I'm getting a little bit mad. And I might actually have to transform and change into something you ain't never seen! Captain Chainsaw! That's right. I'm a little bit pissed off at you, T-Dub, as you like to call yourself. Which I think is a bullshit name. It's just, just not very good. I'm Captain Chainsaw here, and I'm coming to tell you that I challenge you to a four cube firewood race saw at Sawfest in October 2023. That's right. You have been copycatting Bodie for too long. You took DB Fresh's sunglasses. Bullshit. You taken 2165 Yonsa Red from Bodie. Bullshit. That's his to solve choice. And you know it. You're doing this just for views. And Captain Chainsaw don't like it. So I got a clean, crisp $100 bill. I told you to get me $100. That, that, is, that is $100. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is $100. It's just in 20s. Well, I got five $20 bills here that says... Bodie's 2165 is going to beat yours. So, are you going to man up or are you going to shut up? We're going to build a 2165 and see who's the best. You and me, brother. Actually, you and Hot Rod. No, actually, you and Bodie. Whatever it is. I don't give a shit. 2165 Yonsa Red build off. To the winner goes $100. If you're in, say it. And respond to this video. Uh, breaking character. Captain Chainsaw! Okay, well, uh, you guys, you heard it here. Captain Chainsaw is challenging T-Dub to uh, uh, a whack-off at Sawfest 2023 in October. And if you want to see footage of this and what Bodhi does in order to make the chainsaw as fast as possible you will need to be a paid member a actual lumber lumber hack this is a new feature on the channel if you haven't heard about it get used to hearing about it because exclusive content like this Yonsered 2165 build is only going to be able to be seen by the paid members the actual lumber hacks so uh for further explanation Back to you, Bodie. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I have the capacity to be a damn idiot. <laughs> and I kind of like it that way, you know? Uh, hopefully you do too. So here's the deal. That's all just in play, if you guys didn't know. I, I, I really dig uh, TW. And I actually spoke with him first and said, do you want to do something? And are you cool with a $100 bet? And he's like, yeah, I'm cool, man. And I was like, you sure? Because, you know, I mean, uh, I understand it, you know. So. But so this is just a little fun side project I got going on. And, 
yeah, if you want to see it, you're going to have to be a paid member. And if you don't like that, well, then fuck off. So I get it. Uh, you, you're so used to getting YouTube 100% free. And I, I know, I know. But guess what? Times are changing. YouTube um, is not paying like they used to. They changed everything up. And I am working my ass off on these videos. I like doing it. I want to continue doing it. But unless my audience decides to support me, all right, I, I can't keep going, at least in the capacity that I've been going. I need to, you know, I'm producing almost a video every day. And, uh, and quite honestly, whenever you say that I'm not worth $2.99, because that's the lowest level to become a member, okay? Um, if, if I'm not worth $2.99, you're telling me that if you saw me in a gas station, you wouldn't buy me a Coke. Because a Coke, a bottle of Coke is about $3 at a gas station. And, you know, get pissed. Say, oh, begging Bodie. I don't care, really. I mean, I, I really don't. I have figured out that instead of getting a million subscribers that I don't even know, what I would rather do is have a few hundred subscribers that I really know well. You know, and um, hopefully a, a thousand. I mean, look at all that I have done in not make with without making any money. Imagine, imagine if I had just a hundred people give twenty five bucks a month. Now I know that's a big ask. Twenty five bucks a month is a lot, okay? But I'm just working some numbers here. So let's, let's if I had just a hundred people give twenty five bucks a month. That'd be $2,500 per month, and I've been getting about $500. Look at what I've been able to accomplish with just $500 a month. I do a free giveaway saw every month. This month is going to be a really nice saw, a really nice saw, and it's only going to be available to paid members. All right? Imagine what I would do if I had $2,500 a month budget to actually work on and do something. Uh, I get it that, you know, a lot of you guys have what you want and you're okay with that and everything, but it's kind of like the Henry Ford type of deal. If Henry Ford had asked a farmer or an individual what they needed in order for transportation, they would have asked for a faster horse, right? They, would, they couldn't even understand the automobile, right? So what I am offering here if I can get support, is the next level of this channel, which will be like the automobile. Y'all can't even imagine it, all right? I can, I've been in this business, I'm an extremely creative person, and I want to take it to the next level, but I can't do that unless I get people that are willing to pay a little bit of money. YouTube isn't paying. It would be nice if we could all go on strike and force YouTube to give us more money, but we can't do that. That's not an option. You know, there's too many YouTubers. What you would have is about 100 YouTubers go on strike and everybody would just watch somebody else. So if you've got a YouTuber that you really enjoy watching and puts out a lot of good content, um, support them. So... Uh, times are changing, and I know you want it to be the same, but it's not. It's not the same whatsoever. Now, with this chainsaw right here, the reason why I think that you'll be interested in paying to see it is because I am going to employ every trick that I know in order to make this a race legal for, for Sawfest and, you know, still a firewood saw. I'm not going to go crazy and put a, put a big, um, what are they called? Uh, ah, the big carburetors that was on there, Tillotson. I'm not going to go crazy and put a big Tillotson and some fabricated intake and all that stuff. No, it's all going to be really well, very workable and understandable and work within the uh, limits of Sawfest, what they want. You know, there's not going to be any nitrous. There's not going to be any... Uh, uh, methane fuel, nothing like that. It's going to be a firewood saw. 
but I'm going to do everything that I can do to get this thing to perform as high as possible. And a lot of you guys, rightfully so, might be like, that's just going to be a basic pork job for Bodie. Well, I know more things. <laughs> I just haven't really employed them ever. So this will be my first attempt at building an actual firewood racing saw. So this is, you know, the lowest level of the racing saws, really. Um, and I think you'll be interested in seeing it. The way I see it, I've got about, uh, like, you know, I've got about 300 really hardcore subs. But I've actually got about 1,000 pretty darn hardcore subs that watch every single video I put out. And I put out almost a video every day, okay? So I've had a lull because of uh, uh, health issues with my family and everything. But, um, but, you know, I'm back on track now and I'm making videos again. And if you like that, if you're one of those people that watch every bit of my content, then what you're getting is, I don't know, approximately eight hours of entertainment for free every month. And if you don't at least pick the lowest level, which is $2.99 to be a novice or to be a lumber hack, that's what I'm calling, I'm calling my little group lumber hacks. So um, if you don't want to at least put forth $2.99 a month, then what you are literally saying to me is that if you saw me out and about, you would not buy me a Coke. All right? You sure as hell wouldn't buy me a beer uh, because a beer, hell, if I go to any restaurant at all that sells beer, I, about the cheapest thing that you can get is probably $5. Um, you know, so the right now, the way that the uh, membership structure works, I think there are four tiers maybe. So you've got the DB level, which is the entry level, that's $2.99. You've got the Soft Hand Steve level, that's $5.99. You've got the Hot Rod level, which is $9.99. And you have the top cream of the crop Benford Pro level, which is $24.99. And all of those things, there's only one real difference in them. But basically, all you're doing is saying how much you care about my entertainment. Um, I'm not going to go and give you a hand job if you become a Benford Pro uh, $25 a month guy. You know, so there, there, there's no real difference. But what you're doing is whenever you choose Soft Hand Steve over DB, what you're doing is you're saying, you know what? I think I can give six bucks a month. Thanks, Bodie. I appreciate that. Versus the $3 a month for DB. I appreciate both, but what you're doing is you're just describing how, how much you're appreciative, and that's it. But if all 1,000 of my hardcore members would literally just subscribe for the basic level, then that would be 3,000 bucks a month. Look at how much I have gotten done with nothing. And now imagine what I could do if I had an actual budget to work from. I've been giving away saws, uh, you know, I'd give away, do random giveaways, the hats, shirts, uh, chains, bars and chains. Uh, I just randomly give shit away. All that stuff cost me money every time I ship it. You know, thank God, uh, Tony. Uh, yeah, stanker. Got to put the stank on it, brother. You told me about pirate ship. What a great benefit that has been to me. Because on average, before, every time I shipped a chainsaw to somebody, it was costing me 50 bucks. You know, 40, 50 bucks on average. And now with pirate ship, that average is more like 20 to 30. That saved me a lot of money. But what y'all don't really even think about is every time I mail out hats to people, every time I mail a chainsaw, every time I mail out anything, it costs me money, you know? And I like doing it. But I get to the point, you know, I'm like, I, I can't do this for free. And YouTube ain't going to pay me. We can sit back and we can wish all we want. 
All right, we can hope and wish that they would pay, but they ain't gonna do it. So if you think that this is a quality channel that you wanna see keep going, you're gonna have to pay, all right? For the uh, non-paying members, you're probably gonna drop down to about one or two videos a week, and that's it. So to see the rest of this stuff, you gotta pay me at least three bucks a month. And if you don't like that, you know, it's, it's harsh, it's, it's crude, but if you don't think I'm worth $3 a month, then go ahead and fuck right off. <laughs> I mean, serious. Drop your subscription um, and just, just don't be a part of this. Don't, you know, I get it. You can actually go, there's three little dots at the bottom of the video that you can click on those three little dots or off to the right, and it'll say, do not recommend this channel. But I know what you're going to do, even if you, you, you know, if you leave or whatever, what you're going to do is you're going to keep watching my shit for free. And honestly, uh, I get it. It's what you're used to. YouTube has been free for so long. Um, but my options are simple. Either this has to start making a reasonable amount of money or I have to change, go back to work, get a real job and only make a video every now and then, you know, because it's just, it's, it's not cutting it. I put forth way too much effort and that's what has happened. I, I've just learned to value what I'm putting out. And if you don't value it, hey, that's fine. You know, also, if you're broke as a joke, I get that too. I really do. But you're just going to have limited, limited quantity of videos that you're going to be able to see from me, you know. Um, also, all of the chainsaw giveaways, I got a really nice one I'm going to give away this month, a really, really nice one. It's going to go to a member. It's going to go to a lumber hack. Because why am I giving away sometimes $400 chainsaws? Sometimes, hell, the Christmas giveaway, I could have got $650 for that saw. You know? Why am I giving those things away to people that won't even give me a Coca-Cola? So, this is me learning to value myself and what I create for you guys. And I hope, God, I, I hope that you stick with me. Because if I start making $20,000 a month, y'all see it. I'm the kind of guy that will put on an event like Sawfest in the Dirty South. All right? All you guys down in the South that want to see an event like this happen, you'll get it if I'm making bank. And the people who win aren't just going to get a Chinese clone. No knock at Sawfest. No, no, no. No knock at, at, at all. But I'm saying if I, if this channel is making me real money, I will share that wealth. I won't sit on, sorry, 500 McCulloch's and not single, send a single goddamn one of them out to a subscriber. Uh, I, I, I won't do that. Some of these big names are making ridiculous money, which is great, good for them, I ain't hating at all, but they need to be given back to the people that allow them to make that money, and they don't. Um, so yeah, whenever somebody comes to a race that I put on, whenever I'm actually making decent money, if they win it, they're going to win money. And a lot of it, <laughs> you know? I mean, God, if I ever get to that level, well, it'd be awesome. It'll be awesome on a level that no one has known. No one. And, and, and 
a desire to get there, but has become extremely clear that I can't get there with YouTube alone. I need your help. So, and with your help will come extra advertising, which will make the YouTube side grow. And whenever that grows and I finally get up to be making decent money like the big guys, and then I get the actual membership money and everything, I'm just going to share it all. You know? Anyways, I hope you like this video, and I hope that I've proven my point. I've also got a Shindawa that I'm going to actually be doing really, really cool things to, and it also is going to be uh, membership exclusive, you know? So, if you want to see this cool stuff that I've got in store for everybody, down below, there's a button that says join. Push that button and it will give you various different options. If you want to win chainsaws, any kind of giveaway that I'm doing whatsoever, you have to be a member. And, um, and then in the future, moving forward, you'll see a lot fewer videos that are actually for the public. So, take care. Woohoo!